Andrea here from AC Podiatry. How are we? Um, hope all is well, um, surviving the coronavirus and all the other bits and pieces. A uh, little bit of overkill and scary time all the same, so I um, hope you got your toilet paper. Um, right, guys, today what I want to talk to you about um, specifically um, are orthotics. So, orthotics are a focus for us this month. Um, if any of you have been following us on social media, we, you see that we've been talking a little bit about it. Um, some of you may have received our um, email, our monthly email, uh, with a blog uh, talking about what it, what it is and, and, and what they do. Um, but what I wanted to do today is really, uh, for those of you who don't get that, uh, that information, is to actually have a chat to you um, and talk to you about what an orthotic actually is. Um, and probably more importantly around what an orthotic is, um, what do they do and, and why, do we, why do we use them, okay? So they are something that generally gets a bad rap, okay? Um, orthotics once upon a time were uh, the go-to for podiatrists, okay? Um, so an orthotic in effect is something that sits inside the shoe uh, to help improve the function of the foot. Now, I want to stress, when we talk about orthotic and podiatry terms, we're really talking about a custom-made device, okay? So that is a device that's made specifically for an individual. Um, in our clinic, you can get generic orthotics off the shelf orthosis, but we don't really classify them as uh, an orthotic, okay? Um, so an orthotic is basically used to improve somebody's foot function, to help improve the way they, their foot works in order to offload or reduce stress from a particular area. Now, I guess the closest thing that um, I could draw a correlation to is regards to glasses, okay? So let's take the, uh, the example of somebody who works on a computer, um, they squint because they're looking at the screen and they get headaches. Uh, they go to the optosh, uh, optician, they get some glasses, they put the glasses on, the glasses stop the squinting and magically the headaches disappear, okay? Our philosophy around orthosis is very much the same vein, okay? So an orthosis is used to, in effect, remove the stress and strain or reduce the stress or strain that's placed on a tissue joint in the foot, the leg, okay? Which has the added bonus of then reducing the stress to the point that the pain disappears, okay? So an orthosis is used to address pain and dysfunction in a foot, okay, by helping the foot to work better, okay? Got that? Brilliant, okay? Historically, orthotics were used to stop feet from rolling in because rolling in was seen as the bad thing, okay? If your feet rolled in, you were the devil's sport and you're bound to have huge amounts of problems, okay? The reality is that's been proven now to be unequivocally false, okay? Um, just having flat feet does not predict or predicate you to have a problem, okay? It's not simply whether you have a flat foot or not. It's far more complex than that, which is why so much of the time when we have somebody come in who's tried a generic off-the-shelf orthotic and said, oh, I've used orthosis and they haven't worked. It hasn't worked because an orthotic is really a specific intervention for a specific person, okay? So I guess what I wanted to do today was dispel some of those myths around um, orthosis, okay? The second thing, I guess, when we talk about orthosis is historically they were big, chunky, ugly things. Most of the time made out of about five millimeter polypropylene or plastic, um, which made shoe fitting really, really hard, okay, made them really difficult. And the reason they were so big and they were so thick was, again, to try and stop the foot from rolling in, okay? They were there to try and block movement, prevent movement, stop movement. So in order to do that, they actually had to be quite large and thick, okay? But because our mentality has shifted, because our view is that all we're trying to do is change the way the ground interacts with the foot, reduce the stress and load on specific tissues, you don't need to block movement. You don't need these huge, big, chunky orthoses. And so you can actually get away with devices now that are really quite thin. I mean, this is only three millimeters of plastic, okay? Quite narrow in size, funky color, okay? But, you know, fitting this in a sports shoe or a casual shoe, okay, is much simpler and much easier now than it used to be. So if you've got that historic fear around orthotics that you're not going to be able to wear everything that you want to do or you can't wear any shoes except for grandma's shoes, I'm hoping today I kind of help you dispel that myth as well. And we can make an orthotic out of a multitude of different materials. That's polypropylene, three mil. We make them out of carbon fiber now, copolymer, EVA. Basically, 
We really think about the person we're putting in the orthotic, we're thinking about the activity they're doing, the footwear you're wearing, and then cultivate all of that together to create an orthotic that's going to be right just for you. I mean, last week I created an orthotic for a patient who suffers with bunions, a carbon fiber device to put in a three inch heel. It can be done. Um, it's not conventional, it's not what we always do, but there is no way 15 years ago we would have had that capacity, okay? So that's a little bit around I wanted to come to you and talk to you guys and, and, and give you an idea about what an orthotic is and, and, and what it does, okay? Um, I will talk a little bit too, I guess, about um, the, the interventions and what they can help with, but I'm gonna come back and, and give you another video of that. So check back with us a little bit later and I'll, and I'll talk to you about what kind of issues an orthotic would benefit you for or why we, why we would use it. But I want to kind of really reinforce that orthotics, orthosis are not these big chunky things that are used to stop the foot from rolling in, okay? Um, and that they're a crutch. You know, this view that once you get an orthotic, you have to wear the orthotic all of your life. That's not the way that we, um, that the modern podiatrist looks at things anymore, okay? What we do is we use it and in the short term to medium term to get stress off an area so the pain will reduce whilst at the same time helping you build strength and condition in the structure so that it's actually able to deal with the stress and strain minus the orthotic down the track. So we can get you back to activity quickly and get you back doing stuff without pain now and then over time help you get stronger to the point that you may not need to use your orthotic to be able to do that activity um, without pain and discomfort. And in the example or in the situation of children who are potentially growing or going through puberty for example, we may just use an orthotic for 12, 18 months to help them get through that bumpy period in growth and everything else and then when things settle down, their requirement on the orthotic is, 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 is removed or, or disappear, okay? Our aim is really, you know, as a modern day podiatrist, and look, I'm, we're not alone in this, there are lots of practices that function this way now. Um, an orthotic is not a crutch. It's not something to be used forever. It's not a big chunky thing that means that you can't wear um, the shoes that you want to wear ever again, okay? It is a short to medium term load modification tool. So it gets stress off the area to enable you to do the activity you want to do without pain in the short term, so that in the longer term we can help you build the strength and capacity to do that activity, preferably without an orthotic, but maybe only using orthotic for that high intensity activity, okay? So I'm gonna stop it there. I hope you guys have learned a little bit about orthosis and seen how they've changed. Um, what I will do is uh, in the next week or so, come back to you and have a chat about the kind of problems that you would use an orthotic for and why they are beneficial in those particular conditions, okay? So that's me signing out, guys. Have a great day. Uh, any questions, any issues, please pop them down below. Share the video if you know anybody who would benefit from this, especially if you've got a family member who tells you that orthotics are horrible and they're big chunky things and reflects back or romanticize, or doesn't romanticize, but tells you 20 years ago they were horrible. I've been wearing orthotics for 31 years. I can tell you right now, the orthotics I wear now are nothing like the ones that my good man Simon gave me in 1990, okay? They are very different, but they function, you know, but the way they work and the, and the mentality behind them um, is, has also evolved. So um, that's me, guys. Take it easy, have a good one. I'm finishing off a bit ratty, okay? Have a good one, take care, and I'll uh, talk to you on the flip side. Okay, gang, see you later, bye.